and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Diana LeBlanc. Uh, we're going to be playing some Nightfall with Reputation. We're going to have Nightfall cards to go along with Diana and we want five plus power things and help turn on our reputation for LeBlanc and Whispered Words. And the card that kind of put, uh, you know, merges both those together is Crescent Guardian, where whenever you have the Nightfall, it gets the plus two plus zero, and now it's a five three Overwhelm. Very good for both strategies. But um, our deck's going to be basically it's it's going to be a pretty decent deck, right? Like that's that's what I'm expecting here. I'm kind of expecting like a three two or a four one. I think that we're going to be able to curve out uh, fairly well most of the time. We have very good attackers. We have some pretty decent interaction with like the quick attack with that uh, challenger with Diana or the challenger with Glory Seeker. We have the sentry flock combo in here. Um, but then we also have some good ways to finish. Like I said, with the Crescent Guardian, then also Kato is a good finisher. Um, Cloven Way does a good job, obviously Captain Farron at the top end. And a couple of Moonlight Afflictions that are a very powerful card also. LeBlanc is really hard to block. Then we have decent card advantage with Whisper Words drawing the cards, Pale Cascade drawing cards. So yeah, just a, a pretty decent curve out deck, right? It's not like going to be the, the most powerful thing in the metagame. It's not perfect, but... I think that we're going to have a good winning record here in ranked with this deck. Um, I think it looks pretty solid. So let's go ahead and go play our five games in ranked. We'll test that out. Let's see how we do. Azir Darius is going to be the deck that we're going to play up next. But of course, we're playing a Noxus deck, so we get immediately paired against a Noxus deck. Because that's how the pairings work. You always get paired against something similar to what you're playing. Not always, but a decent amount of time. Like it feels like there's a like a little up percentage on that. Yeah, and this is a core deck deck. We always do well with core deck decks. So yeah, every time core deck gives me a donation deck, I mostly always go three two four one five oh so uh, I believe yeah <laughs> it's a core deck And he's a Kordak Dex, it's just a Kordak. The desert by my side. Um, I wonder what shade this pale ca this cascade is. I wonder if the kale I wonder if the cascade like is it pale or not? Is it something else? See what we see. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Cannot hold us down. Thirteen. How many pale cascades is too many? For the glory of Wait, who says for the glory of Demacia? Who's gonna get in my way? I was pretty sure he's about to be like for the glory of Demacia. Is that Garen? No, I feel like that's a female voice that says that. Garen says it. Y'all are saying? Because I felt like it sounds just like that. It's just like. The same voice for the glory of Demacia, for the glory of Noxus. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, three Doom Keepers versus three Pale Cascades. Who wins? Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Card's good. All, is to the All these cards are good. Tell the 
Card's good. They're down to six. We're both at six, to be honest. Le Blanc. Really? That's the Tom Tech? That's the Tom Tech? Yeah, I can silence it with, with Moonlight, but they still attack. No place for men. Carve a path. None shall oppose me. I guess, yeah, the Azir doesn't spawn a soldier. I, I played the extra blocker, the extra thing to block, but yeah, I guess the Azir wouldn't have spawned the soldier. So they go two, four, five. So we go to one. All right, they should be going to one. Down to one it is. I guess I could go here and go to two, and they have three twos, and then like. This gives them multiple three twos, but then this only has three health as far as like, I guess that's actually better for me for LeBlanc killing them next round. It doesn't matter if they have like, if they can go wide, right? Because all that matters is that LeBlanc does the most damage, overwhelm damage possible with the Kato. So this, if they just drew a unit, we win. If they drew a spell that kills us, we lose. So it's basically just Noxion Fervor now, because it's not Decimate, because they didn't play Decimate. I'll put them to zero. There we go. Even Darius isn't enough against the Moonlight Affliction. Okay, now we're facing some aggro, Draven, Jinx. As you can tell, opponent's playing Noxus. So that, that means that that's why we get paired. You always get paired against similar regions, or at least most of the time. So we're going to Mulligan, Mulligan... And keep keep, I guess. It doesn't seem like LeBlanc is really that great in this matchup. It doesn't block anything. Let's pull in LeBlanc. We should just give us more opportunity to find that Ravenous Flock. There we go. Because we want that Sentry Flock. But then I also want, you know, I want to find like some ones and twos. I don't want to just keep double three and get ran over like this. But it looks like we're getting ran over anyway. I did my best mulliganing, but we drew pretty bad. We drew these cards that we mulligan. We mulligan Whisper Words and Moonlight Affliction for a reason. And that expensive unit with Kato. Okay, if I stun... Yeah, I gotta stun Draven. We find Mountain Goat... Round three. He <laughs> couldn't have it round two. Come on, goat. Yeah, it's it's not a confirmed thing with the algorithm, but it, it sure seems like it that 
it's just like a, it's a higher percentage chance that you get paired against a similar region deck than a, a non-region deck. So that's just my my findings from playing 20 games every single day. But it's not a confirmed theory. It's a myth that seems to be true. And it's, it's obviously not 100%. But you can tell we've, we've played two Noxus decks. We're playing Noxus, so we've played two Noxus decks. So if I if I just you know block block these Destiny. spiders are cool than jury if we just take out the jury rigs we go to seven block over here it's eight there is a difference between seven and eight for sure especially with these things attacking is that worth keeping the goat alive like one life it may not be honestly but maybe. Man, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure which one to do. I don't know. Keep go to live seven, let go die eight. I really don't know which one to do. I'm gonna let go die go to eight. Well, I'd love to see that. The last card has to be Jinx or Augmented Experimenter. If it's neither, they're not winning. Um, just best to play LeBlanc first in case it is Jinx that then we Glory Seeker the Jinx. But of course there's Augmented Experimenter is the other one. Oh man, they, and they top decked the third Jury Rig so they got to just discard it. That was pretty nice. Yeah, that was the, the the perfect draw, right? The third jury rig. That was nice. Alright, we're gonna need some sentry defense. Ah, uh, they're not giving me any sentry defense. Opportunities. Well, maybe. What we got going on over here? They're dancing. You won't get past me. Reporting in. We got him to pass. We got him to pass. Oh, I can't play both these Moonlight Afflictions. I was thinking, I was like, well, I could Moonlight, they like, can't block for those, can't block for these. We can't play both of them. Gonna be close. I'll do better this 
this time. No, don't attack with everything. Just attack with the elusives. This makes no sense not to attack with those. Okay. Blocking it all. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised this this how this game has gone. I don't we don't know what's in their hand. Like maybe they're just drawing a whole bunch of these cheap units, right? Like maybe they're just only drawing. Like ever since that augmented experimenter, they just haven't done anything. They just played like two one drops, this house spider. I don't know, maybe that's just all they have in their hand. I don't know. I don't know. Time for the main event. There's Draven. Draven's a pretty good one. But still, feel good about this. Go get him, Captain. Captain Crunch. What saves them here? Decimate, Mystic Shot, get excited. I guess that would, that would kill me. Pass the turn probably doesn't kill me. They gave up. We are two and O. Oh. Diana LeBlanc, that was a good win. That deck is really scary. Another Noxus deck. I'm telling y'all. There is something to this pairing thing. Alright, gone, gone. I should maybe keep Flock. Flock is awesome against them, but we gotta find our other part of the combo. It's like these are all good cards, but it's like what do we what are we doing? <laughs> right? We I guess we draw other cards. Right? Like we We have to draw something to turn on the nightfall. I guess we don't have to turn on nightfall. Okay, go. Alright. See? That's what we're doing. We're, we had Precious Pet on one, Goat on two. See, we have like this perfect curve that we definitely kept in our hand, and our hand wasn't awkward whatsoever because of this amazing curve that we kept, because we're so good at this game. Duh. I kind of want to play Crescent Guardian right now. Just 3-3. Three, three. You just like open attacks? Bait removal. Alright, we'll just do that. Try to have five threes later. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. System upgrade. Going to just heal five three. Just not really time to moonlight affliction the Draven. I don't think. Let's do this. Let's go. Mm. Post combat. All right, post combat. Is this whirling death? Got an axe with your name on it. I didn't expect them to blonk. Yeah, now it makes this like a really difficult pill cascade for me. Yeah, and they just have too many cards. 
They already had 10 cards in hand, so they weren't able to create another Spinning Axe. What's up, Captain Farron? So kind of see if they play, you know, Ezreal for this entry instead of just killing the 4-3. Whoa, we got a brand new Twitch Prime sub today. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Time for the main event. Uh, Bastion. Hopefully that's how you pronounce the name, Bastion. Thank you so much for that support. You are a rock star, really, really appreciate that. Awesome, thank you, Bastion. Let's see, we got three, six, eight cards in hand for them. I think we're just playing Crescent Guardian. If I play Glory Seeker, they could have Thermo for one. Just go trade, trade. Keep the life total high, like they'll trade anyway. I miss out on like two damage, but then I don't take four. Right, so like potential to potential damage. Oh, you think I should just be moonlighting next next round? See, they have thermo for one. No, it's we don't have to just be that aggressive when we have Captain Farron, right? I think that I don't think we need to do that with the captain, which I probably should have healed this Crescent Guardian right away. Yeah, I should have jumped it up first. Okay, so they were planning on that Mystic Shot, killing that, not uh, the other card. Not Ravenous Flock. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. It's not bragging if you can back it up. I need to use this Pill Cascade eventually. And then triple Sump Dredger. That card's good. Discarding Sentry. Why are we one mana short from Farron plus Diana? Okay, I like the Dustbringer. Gives me another thing to play this round. So we don't just take the open attack damage for the 4-3. So two flocks gone. Night flowers upon my blade. You have to assume that's a removal spell that can kill the 2-1. Then we're gonna be for ten. 
Oh, we'll try being proper later. They're just all removal spells. And we, we can certainly assume that this, this like, we already know this last spell is something, is a removal spell that costs three or less, so we can assume that that's, like, a thermogenic beam to kill this Dustbringer. Um, so it looks like I'm pretty dead. Well, it would have been, it would have been eight damage in Moonlight Afflicted. You mean, in, instead of blocking one of the... Like, do you mean, like, not block the two four threes, or just not block one of the four threes? I don't think we would have been... I don't think that would have really worked very well. I think that my opponent would have just played, like, these tri-beams a little bit earlier. I don't I don't think that not blocking the four three with my five three earlier, and then try to Moonlight Affliction the four three and get in damage, I don't think that would have worked. Do we have any card that just does like three damage to them? In the dark and follow no false light. Cold and unforgiving as moonlight. Not really, we only have one Captain Farron. Clovenway. Clovenway. That's our out. The Clovenway. Even though I guess it doesn't, I guess that's, that's not actually an out, because then they just, I, yeah, that's actually not an out. So we actually have zero outs. Because because I whatever I play, then they decimate, then I play something else, then they decimate again, and we lose. So there's not actually an out. He decimates. Four, you know, three mana, four, three plus draw card, three of those. That's just too good. All right, so let's let's play against some dragons instead. They are a Targon deck. We are a Targon deck, so we're four for four, playing against decks with the same region. All right, so Kordak, you say you have a, a lot of success against dragons. What do you? What are we mulliganing here? Moonlight Affliction, of course, is gone. But like with these other cards, do I just keep flock, or we send flock back and try to curve out? All right, we'll send them both back. And try to curve out. Well, I'm certainly glad we mulliganed flock because we just drew another one. We don't need two. I think I just said something about not needing two. I don't remember exactly what it was. But I think it went along the lines of, we don't need to. to <laughs> they're sitting here considering, I think that means they have sharp sight. Maybe they're thinking about using sharp sight, blue sentinel, block the two one. Better not be single combat. Because I think it's sharp sight. So like this does... Yeah, so it makes them play the sharp sight. So there we go. Got the sharp sight out of their hand. Got, you know, trades for both of our flocks. We still keep our precious pet. But we level up LeBlanc.
Am I going Crescent Guardian or Diana? The pass. The pass has got to be, what, more like single combat, sharp sight? Radiant Guardian? Yeah, it could be Radiant Guardian. Yeah, I guess it could be Radiant Guardian. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. By the moon's crescent blade. I guess this is the play. Weapons golden as the doll. A weapon is only as much as its wielder. Wow. So my plan was like, you know, challenge that, and then we have ten coming in through with like the pill cascade, but man, another lifesteal unit. What a treat. Do I have Diana kill this blue sentinel? No more lies. I guess so. Cloaked in silver light. Face your heretic. Because if I don't do this, they just easily block the LeBlanc. So this forces them to yeah, do a block they don't want to do. Which I Yeah, so that, that worked out just fine. Cool. Yeah, that, that worked out really well. I'm, I'm honestly surprised they did the block. It didn't just take six and go down to five. The full moon awakens the soul. I guess I could have passed to begin with, and then this would have been a 5-3, and Diana would have been a 3 out of 4, because they can't just pass back, because we have all this, so yeah, I guess I could have just passed to begin with. Alright, so you're at... Smoke and mirrors. 6, we need 6 for you. They don't have Judgment Mana. Yeah, I should, I should have passed back. This should be a 5-3 right now, like, that, that could cost me. Because they can't, they can't pass back anyway, so I was, I was afraid that they, yeah, they, they can't pass back. I mean, unless their plan was like star shaping, right, like double star, even double star shaping, they can't pass back, so I, I should have. Nine puts him down to two. Or this Crescent Guardian could have been a five three. Mess that up. Who gets tossed? We of course don't know what else is in their hand. We don't know if they have like a guiding touch that they, they would still could have used. Something like that. Or you know, like more single combat, something like that. But yeah, I could have could have had the five three. So it wasn't like a hundred percent lethal, but you know, would have made them play another card that they didn't necessarily want to play. Yeah, that's true. They would have blocked differently. They would have just blocked the 5-3. They could have done that. Instead of blocking the 3-2. Yep, and there's the Radiant Guardian that they tried to make earlier. Still block, even if I silence. Night I give you muscles. Hold back the darkness. Stay back. I will end this here. Oh, they can't do it. All right. No fight spells. The words of the heretic Still got there. Three and one with Diana LeBlanc. So, yes, yeah, so you're saying that you, you've never lost to dragons with this deck, huh? Dragons is the easy matchup. 
All right, we're playing against Deep, so that's not a, a region, you know, no, not Noxus or Targon. So it doesn't happen 100% of the time, but, you know, 4 out of 5. We're going to mulligan the Cloven Way. I don't know. Cloven Way seems kind of good. But I probably can't keep... I can't keep two fives. If we're going to keep Kato, we can't keep that. Can't keep two fives. Night flowers upon my blade. I don't know exactly what Diana would kill. Getting that damage in. Danger paid. And I'm gonna save mana for Pale Cascade now. I'll def I'll definitely trade Jaw Hunters for Diana. I want to I want to trade Jaw Hunters <laughs> for Diana. Um, but I guess I guess I have nothing to play. All right, so maybe I just play Sentry, and then immediately swing for five, and then just save spell mana round four, and then have like Kato Cloven Way. We're probably going to draw Ravenous Flock now. It's our time. Okay, Whisper Words, we could play that now if we want. So Whisper Words would, words would cost us 3 mana if we play it this round. Is it worth 3 mana draw 2? Maybe not. There is the flock. In case of Jaw Hunters, we got another Pill Cascade. More Dubloon Wanderers. Man, those are good. Those are exactly what you want on their side. Wonderful blockers. They got Lifesteal. And they're also... Uh, tossing as well. We will so if I do all these blocks, they get, get to toss one, two, three cards. I feel like I'm not supposed to let them toss three cards. No, we just gotta do it. Right. It's awesome. Looking pretty bad for me. That was awesome. Bone Skewer resetting that. Healing the Nexus. All that kind of stuff. Like that's, that's pretty awesome. No Nightfall to turn it on. Well, we still got to play it. We know this card right here is Deadbloom Wanderer. So they're they're out of Vile Feast. They've They've gotten rid of every Vile Feast. Well, that's not so bad. We're going to have Captain Farron before attacking next round. So this round I'm kind of planning on, like... Diana into Cloven Way. Each act of heresy is an act of passion. Love that they passed and they didn't attack. So the reason, so you're really like, why, why wouldn't they attack? Well, because if they attack, I block with my 2-2 two, two, and then they don't have it to for the 5-1. That's what... 
<clears throat> that's their problem with them. All right, so no bone skewer. That was kind of the bone skewer test, right? Because then, like, if they bone skewer there, then we have our other flock. Yeah, it just it gets rid of like double bone skewer. <laughs> I guess there is a flock then, right? Because if we wait till like next round, maybe they have double bone skewer. All right, so I can attack out and put them down to three, but they could have Withering Will and stop the Cloven Way. Might well, make sense to play this first. The best they can do, they can like you know like jettison. They can be deep, then they play like Devour. Sorry, they could even just go like Jettison Nautilus. Ruination would kind of loses the game, but the other plays aren't so bad. Th thank you so much for your service, 56 Chicken Wings. Says, every time I voted no today, I've lost my channel points. Well, thank you very much. Keep voting no. Keep, get, keep buying wins for us. I appreciate it. We dealt less, less damage, but we did kill a 7-7. Seven, seven. So maybe that didn't work out. Moonlight Affliction? What's up? Tell no one what you find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Yeah, these kind of decks can play like Withering Whale sometimes. Meet Destiny. Um. Okay. That'll do. Not giving them, not giving them that card draw. And they will hear us. So there we go. That's gonna be it. That's a 4-1 for Diana LeBlanc. Just like I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Felt like this was gonna be a solid deck. Like, is it is it perfect? Is it gonna beat every single deck out there? No. But it's it does it does pretty well. It does fairly well. You know, like we got we had some good fortune to get 4-1, but you know, I thought that we were gonna be getting like a 3-2 or a 4-1. Um, this kind of deck is just pretty solid. It hits really hard, it has some good interaction. Um, there's nothing like super flashy where you're like, or like anything that's like super busted where you're like, man, I can't believe that you have like this Azir that's doing all this crazy stuff or this like 2020 Nasus or, you know, anything like that. But it, it does well. It, it attacks well, um, has overwhelm, has heavy hitters. The Whisper Words gives you a little bit of card advantage. Um, you have two quick attack champions that are really difficult to block. One of them, of course, having Challenger when you have the Nightfall. Um, and then, you know, you have Sentry Flock to, to take care of the early game. Kordak does say that, uh, you know, who donated for this deck and uh, does say that it's very good against dragons. Uh, he said he's 6-0 and against dragons right now with it. Uh, but it's not very good against Aurelia Azir because Aurelia Azir just goes, is just, y'all know that deck. It's just so fast and it goes so wide. And, and this deck doesn't block. This deck's about attacking, but it's a little slower. So, um you know, so not as good against Aurelia Azir, very good against dragons. Um, so good good kind of things to think about, like whenever you're uh, putting together decks, um, you know, for a specific metagame or like maybe for a tournament where you know you get to ban Aurelia Azir and, and like that's your plan and you want decks that are good against like the bigger decks, like your, your, dra your dragon decks and stuff like that. This could be an option for like a third deck. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Diana LeBlanc. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.